Hey guys, Nitsagamer here, back for another session of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So, in the previous session, Ron pretty much decided, Hey, what if I F up, F up potions class? And by F up, I mean F up uh, <laughs> my commentary in that one moment. So yeah, since Hermione is studying, we don't have Hermione throughout the rest of this session, which is another night without her, interestingly. So, what what good way to start off with a session? Um, how about we do the bullying cliche? That would be a great way to start off this. Did you see his Potter and Weasley? God damn it, game! No, I didn't see his Potter and Weasley. But really, game, did you have to go with the bullying cliche? I mean, how cliche can you get? God damn it! God damn it! Hey, Draco! Oh no, you're not Draco. You're either crap or gore, like, don't know which. Ron, do something. Oh, jeez, I'm dying. Feeling too good. Come on. <sighs> Frick. This pumpkin is just so irritating. Oh my god, no, 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 no. No. That is such a terrible start. Oh my god. Oh. Frick. Holy crap, I've never been so bad at this. Malfoy? Go on, clear off, Malfoy. We did it! Yay! But we've still got to save Neville from the ghoul. Of course. So, let's see. What can we learn from all this Muggle study stuff? Um, well, let's see. In here, we got some of the tools that they use in the Muggle world. And they have dumb bonds in the Muggle world. Yeah, that's staying true to the Muggle world. And this is a vacuum. This is how they clean their floors. Whereas our, in our world, uh, we don't clean floors. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> I guess they just have their hell selves lick the floor. So here we'll be coming back with Hermione, but we'll do that after we get the majority of our spells. What the heck? Okay, that was weird. Anyway, let's carry on. Actually, I'll play as Ron for a little bit since he's low on health. Super! I really need to find health for Ron, or otherwise I'm going to totally die here. Okay. Why can't I open this? Okay, I also got to do something here. Move, Harry. I don't know what I need to do here. No, I want some Wagon Whale Potion. A Wagon Whale Potion would be nice, please. Yeah. Okay, Folio Brew Tie can do, I guess, but... Okay, we're gonna go back to Harry. So, let's see how much of a good representation... Oh, god damn it, Hogwarts. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we had bouncing instruments as in our world. And it's all done by electricity, kids. I mean, this is real. This is what's in the Muggle world. And then we have a guitar, an electric guitar, so I guess in a way, I guess they stay true to the Muggle world, but I mean that very loosely. Um, Ron, your head is stuck in the pillar. I'm just going to walk over here and laugh a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, he's got his head stuck in a pillar. Okay, Ron, I'll give you your weigh and whale potion. There you go. All right, let's carry on. Just leave me alone. <sighs> Ugh. Such an ugly little, little guy. That's just annoying me. <gasps> so yeah, by flipendo in it, that's not going to do no good. Flipendo its ass. Okay. So yeah, we gotta face off with this ghoul, but we can't use it with Flipendo. Oh, cool, so they got video games, and okay, maybe they do stay true to uh, some of the uh, Muggle world and all that, but still, they misrepresent it with stuff like um, instruments that come to life. I mean, 
what the hell is next? A jack-in-the-box comes to life or something? I mean, what the heck? Let's see this jack-in-the-box, and... Is it gonna come to life? Of course it does. It's okay. I'm alright. Just video game pain. No big deal. Ah! Okay then. You keep him busy. <laughs> you keep him busy while I face off. God damn it. This is a bad representation of what the muggle world is like. I mean, really, guys? You want to go to Hogwarts? I mean, I guess maybe in a sense you don't want to take um, muggle studies. But seriously, this is the best representation of the muggle world you can? I mean, to be fair... The, there's no doubt the Wizarding World has a different point of view of what the Muggle World is like. Because apparently in um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the book, um, um, Hermione decided to take Muggle studies because she wanted to actually see, you know, the Wizarding point of view of what the Muggle World is like. Yeah, so for the majority of this um, part, we're going to be playing as Ron. And, uh, yep. Okay, here it is. Um, Spellbook? So, oh, God damn it. Damn it. Okay. that Stop it. Um, so, yeah. Ron only lo learns one spell throughout this entire game, and this is the spell. Oh, thank God that conveniently fell, so that way we have to go through this repetitiveness. I don't even know what those are. But yeah, we gotta use Lumos Duo. But yeah, Lumos. This is gonna pretty much be the only type of spell that we're gonna use for Ron. I'm not sure if I have these guys in my follow brew tie. I should check. Well, we got the ghoul. The ghoul. Although ugly, it's not particularly a dangerous creature. It moans and occasionally throws objects around, but is essentially simple-minded and harmless. Really? Because it decided to harm me. Okay, so this is a hinky punk. So, the hinky punk is a little one-legged creature, and it looks like it's made of smoke. It carries a lantern with it, which lures travelers into bogs. So, yeah... Let's face off with this hinky punk or whatever. Yeah, hinky punk. Doing something. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it's probably important to know that this will get repetitive. I think I remember the first time I played this, I had to start over again, and it got really annoying because I didn't have any wig and whale potion. And since I don't have any wig and whale potion with me at this current moment of time, yeah, I might die soon. Uh, only if there's, like, some sort of thing of health around here. Uh, bean, not so bad. I mean, I need more of these beans if I'm gonna actually get whatever for Hermione. Okay, this guy... Oh, damn it. God damn it. Well, let's start again with full health. Damn it. Yeah, this is gonna... Fuck. This is gonna take a while, so... I'll cut out if it gets repetitive. Oh my god, what the hell? I think I can get two at once. Let me see. Huh, pretty sweet. I was able to. Well, that should save some health, I guess. Come on, stop moving. Oh my god! Ugh. Yeah, I think I remember when I first played this, I was stuck on this for such a long time, and it's not even funny. Oh, you're kidding? 
you decide to go in there? God damn it. Okay, now I gotta wait for it to come out. There we go. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh no, there's more. God damn it. I was having a hard enough time with those. I don't need more. But yeah, we get more. Let's see if we can get two at once here. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh my god. The game controls of this is getting really annoying with me. Oh my god. Stop it. Damn it. Yeah, this is going to take a long time, and I think it doesn't actually start off with the exact same uh, hinky punks that I was just facing. I think I have to start off from the very beginning, from the very first three that I faced off with before. Yeah, that's how long I actually spent trying to get this part completed. No, stop targeting the wrong freaking go- go- freaking damn it. This is- this is annoying. There's more. <sighs> yep. So, just like before, I have to face these fuckers again. This is just not fun! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez, I was lucky. So, yeah, when they're shaking their lanterns around, that's the sign that they will actually throw those um, fire thingies at you. There we go. Let's see if I can shoot one of them. So okay, never mind. Damn it. Okay, so it's just one more left. Good, 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 good. Oh, God, this is really getting repetitive. Oh, thank God. So yeah, that's all of those uh, hinky puffs that we gotta face. So let's do this. All right, now hopefully I can actually commentate much more clearly because good God, that was frustrating. Oh, health. Thank God. Not enough, but thank God. Yeah, so now we move this around and then that shines at the eye. So yeah, out of all the spells that Ron learns in this, I mean, aside from Expelliarmus and Flopendo, which everyone else has, he only learns the um, Lumos spell, which does actually come in handy, believe it or not. I mean, in the um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, we needed it for um, uh, to discover secret walls and, of course, you know, make things much more lighter so we can navigate ourselves and all that. Please be health. Okay, it's a chocolate frog, which I think fills up all of our health, so... <coughs> Excuse me. And what do you know? More toy robots and toy rubber duckies. Yeah, that's right, because when kids actually have bath time... Rubber ducky, you're so fine. You make bath time so much fun. Rubber ducky, won't you murder me in my bath? It's an awesome sound. You murdered me in my bath! So yeah, Harry, I guess, is having fun down with the ghoul, but he's just standing there while the ghoul's just doing who knows what, and Neville's just standing up there doing absolutely nothing. Now we got 200 house points. No chest here? Okay. Yeah. And by the looks of this area, we can only access this area with Hermione, which I basically showed um, the the main entrance to it. I can't search that. Is basically back at um, where we faced off with Malfoy and, and all. Oh, come on! This is not a good representation of the Muggle world. It's a robot, Ron. I mean, um, oh yeah, you're pure blood. You don't know. All right, so let's get out Expelliarmus, the incorrect Expelliarmus, and face off with this goddamn robot. Way. 
Shut up, Harry. You're not a part of this. So yeah, what I pretty much got to do is flapendo it when its um, chest opens up to release the rockets. And then take out the Expelliarmus to basically knock the rockets back. Pretty simple. You might as well say this is the closest thing to a boss that I guess Ron gets to face with having the Lumos spell, but the thing is, you don't use Lumos on this boss. Alright, we're pretty close to finishing off this robot. That's right, kids. This is a good representation of what the Muggle world is like. Bewitched toys and bewitched instruments. And we're gonna watch the train crash. See? We're gonna... Train? What the hell? You're supposed to crash, not magically go, Oh, there's a head in the way. I better turn this way. I mean, come on. This is a bad representation of what the Muggle world is like. Yeah. I think if I were to go to Hogwarts, I would not take Muggle studies if it's a bad representation of what the Muggle world is like. Yeah. So now we use this, which conveniently actually shines directly towards the eye. And yeah, we don't get to use Harry even though if we come down here. So now we gotta... Hey! Leave Neville alone, you son of a bitch. Oh, hey, oh, it, 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 it wants to play with that, huh? Well, take this. Harmless my ass. Now you get your half-naked body in there. Now leave my friends alone. Amen. Okay, let's get back to the common room. There we go. I hope there was no chest in there. By the looks of it, there's none. Yeah, screw you. Maybe if you would have thought of, like, maybe how you treat others, then maybe this wouldn't happen. Such a shame we can't play as Neville. So, um, yeah, now we get to go, now we have to go back to the common room. So, yeah, pretty much mission done. Now I'll become useful. I just want to go to bed. Can we go now? Ah, oh, shut up, Neville. So, yeah, just like the rest of the characters, Neville does bitch and moan along the way. Come on. Uh, nothing came out of that? Please? Okay. Actually, did this unlock? What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, wait, hold on. I think I know what I had to do, but I have to... Sh do I have to shine Lumos on this or something? I just want to go to bed. Can we go now? Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to do something with Hermione of this. I don't know, but... Yeah, that's clearly not doing a thing. So, let's go back to bed. Shut up, Neville. Oh, wait. There's another one of those uh, things we can uh, flip over. So yeah, the majority of this night is pretty much played by Ron. Can't we go back to the common room now? Oh my god, Neville, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna make sure you die before you get a chance to destroy the last Horcrux. What? Neville destroys the last Horcrux? Oh, that is impossible. Well, if you didn't know that, then maybe you should have watched... God damn it, guys, stay out of the way so I can get that cup that's on top of the freaking thing. Uh, I guess I can't reach it. Uh, let's just get out of here. Yeah, if it's one thing I do hate in terms of movies is the bully cliche. I mean, don't get me wrong. Draco is a great uh, character and all, but when movies really overuse the bully cliche, they either make them unfunny or just bully with no purpose whatsoever. I mean, there's got to be a purpose or a way that we feel sympathetic for that character in order to make it a bull good bully character. Like, make the character, sh like, show that the main character, or the, or, sorry, the bully character actually has a dark past. Make him have a reason for doing all the bad stuff that he's doing to other people. Or make him funny as hell. I mean, the bullies in, like, um, uh, I'm trying to think of an example. Like, the bullies in, um... 
uh, trying to think of a funny bully, but it's pretty rare that there's a funny bully. But, you know, someone like Draco, there is a good story behind Draco and a reason why he's such an asshole most of the time. And with his family line and such, it makes sense. Shut the frick up, Neville. So, we go over here to go to bed or not. And Hermione's conveniently out here, even though she was studying. You'll be lucky. What do you mean, Peeves? A shame your headship, sir, doesn't want to be seen. So I ran into the landscape on the fourth floor. <laughs> Crying something dreadful. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> did she say who did it? Oh, yes, Professor Head. He got very angry when she wouldn't let him in, you see. Nasty temper he's got, that serious black. 